Okay, tonight, finally watching Society, and I have kind of been putting this movie off a little bit because I feel like I, like I already know, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen this movie at all, but I feel like I know more than I should know about this movie because I've seen it in so many lists of like body horror movies or like more disturbing films or 80s horror movies. Um, this is going to be kind of a grosser watch in my opinion considering i do know what the sh is it the shunt um if what that is um big yikes so i'm going to get into society i am working on a couple of other things right now so if i come back with a different look on um forewarned but uh yeah uh, society watch this probably not did I enjoy it yes uh, <laughs> I'm a little um, at a loss for words considering the fact that I just watched a man get inverted but I really enjoyed it so um, I'll be back what you fear is only the beginning anything for society all right let's talk more in depth about society a 1989 body horror not to be confused with the dead poet society that came out the same year <laughs> this one made me feel kind of angry <laughs> not angry it was just it took a long time to get where we were going but once we got there we got there so let's talk a little more in depth about society i'm gonna give you my synopsis in my own words and then we'll talk about things i enjoyed society is essentially about a paranoid teen who sets off to uncover the sexy and disturbing secrets that his parents uh family the community around him are hiding he also has to try and not get served for dinner one thing I will say about this is the main character played by Bill Warlock. My mom walked in during one scene in the movie and she goes, Hey, that's AJ Quartermain from General Hospital. And I'm like, oh my God, it is. <laughs> so that was funny. If you guys watch General Hospital, you know. Do you watch General Hospital, Rin? Anyways, things I liked about society. Bill's character is portrayed as an outsider, kind of looking in and observing and kind of, like I said, uncovering secrets, but he makes us feel like we're also the outsiders. Um, one thing I have written down here is throughout the movie, and this comes later on, throughout the movie, society is kind of talked about as like its own entity and not like a group or like a collective so like that makes us feel even more of an outsider because we're like oh what is society you know kind of thing but this movie does have great 80s cheese even though it is technically it's 89 so it's closer to the 90s it still felt like a genuine cheesy 80s horror movie there's a scene where billy snaps and i'm like damn that's me if i could snap at work <laughs> on customers that piss me off <laughs> i'm just kidding there's also um, a scene where his mom, dad, and sister kind of like morph together, but it looks like a terrifying like mom doll, and I laughed really hard because you can tell it's a doll. Also, uh, let's talk about the shunting for a minute or the shunt. Um, that part, that scene is absolutely fucking disgusting. That is pure debauchery, and I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, <laughs> that says a lot about me as a person, but it was, ugh. there was a little bit of horrific carnival music. There was definitely like, it just felt like the definition of a filthy, disgusting, wet dream. You know what I mean? Like in the sense of it looked wet and it felt like something out of your nightmares. <laughs> But I will say, they did such a great job on the effects. There is, you, it's an 80s movie, I'm not spoiling anything, unless you're like me and you haven't seen it until now. Um, but there is a scene where the buddy gets like turned completely inside out. Um, fantastic job on the effects. <laughs> it, I was like, jaw dropped. <laughs> okay, let's, let's talk about what I disliked really quick. What I hate about 
80s movies and like early 90s movies not even 90s I won't even talk about 90s movies because I really love 90s horror but 80s horror they put scenes in that kind of don't I don't know mesh with the movie itself sometimes um they're the beach scene in this movie right up until Billy finds out or hears um the recording of his family um it just feels stupid and kind of like filler I get it it introduces his like nemesis that he has to go up against at the end but like I don't like it I didn't like it once again, I will um, talk about the runtime. It was almost an hour and 40 minutes long, and it took an hour and 12 minutes for us to really um, be told, outright told, what's going on. Not like we really had to get spoon fed anything because it was really easy to piece together, but like, if you were seeing this for the first time in the 80s, you were probably shocked <laughs> to see the ending, you know? Like, but I have seen this in so many lists. So many videos, so many like video essays that I knew what was coming, so I wasn't that shocked, but some of the things I saw in this movie I wasn't ready for. Also, can we talk about the fact that last month I talked about how much I dislike worms, and there was an abundance of worms in this movie. Blech. Okay, ratings for originality. A solid 8 out of 10, even though it's definitely reminiscent of other films. What isn't? <laughs> This was a great take on the class system and just a community and like what a community can be and do. It's gross. For gross factors, this one gets a solid 10 out of 10 for sure. Just because of the whole like last 20 minute sequence, it's gruesome. It's wet. It's juicy. It's gruesome. Debauchery. Scares. It's more of a horror comedy, if uh, anything. Uh, it was quite funny in some parts. So this one gets a five out of 10, once again, for scares. And my overall rating ends up being seven and a half out of 10, which I think fits. I think that's a decent rating for this movie. Considering the fact that I only really liked the later half of it, I could have done without the beginning half, it was fine. <laughs> But anyways, let me know what you thought of Society. Let me know if you were lucky enough to see this in theaters back when it came out. I, w I, I am jealous because I would have loved to have been. I like to be in audiences where things are shocking and you get that whole audience reaction. So I would have loved to be in the audience to see the whole shunting scene. Yuck. <laughs> anyways, that's all for me for today. I will see you tomorrow for the last movie in Body Horror Week. We completed it this week, guys, um, for The Skin I Live In, our first foreign film in this series, I believe. This is the first foreign film in this series. Um, it's a Spanish language film. And I'm really excited about it. I've wanted to watch this one for a long time. I do have it on Blu-ray, so I'm finally gonna break it out. So I will see you tomorrow. Sayonara, Sam. <laughs>